Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. In today's episode, I'm going to show you hands down the best way to make money in the game. Yeah, you can make money pretty easily from doing side missions and regular missions, but this way you're going to make more money per hour than any other way in the game to afford all of the expensive cars, weapons, components, and everything that you could want in Cyberpunk 2077, Ugh. and it's all extremely easy. Of course, Johnny's trying to take over my body as we try and start this episode. Uh, but you are going to need a few skills to be able to do this. And if we could open our menu, there we go. Uh, you're going to need one of the skills or a perks inside of the technical ability tree. So if you open this up, you're going to see a perk called uh, mechanic. This is a passive ability that allows you to gain uh, components, gain more components when disassembling. This is going to be a really good skill to have for this. Not necessary but certainly a really good skill. Now, the location we're at right now has a lot of these vending machines, and you can do this trick at literally any vending machine in the game as long as the vending machines pop out sodas. You don't want to use the vending machines that have these, uh, these ants or the burritos or any of the food things. You specifically want to look for the vending machines uh, that offer these drinks, like the Mix-Its here, uh, the Nicolas, basically this whole line is um, vending machines that are going to work with this. Any of the soft drinks will work really, really well. Now, what you're going to be doing, you can do this anywhere, but this specific location has a ton of vending machines and will allow you to make a ton of money without having to like run away and get the vending machines to reload their stock. Uh, so this is up in Watson, and if we zoom in on the map here, it's going to be just at the corner of this little intersection here. And it's really easy to tell because there's going to be like this little parking area. Well, I guess it's not really a parking area. Maybe it used to be at some point in time. But all you're going to do is when you get to this area, you're going to buy everything in each of the vending machines that sell soda. And then you're going to pick up all of the soda. And you're going to do this for every single vending machine here. I know that seems like it's going to be a little tedious, and, and it can be. Uh, but then again, just running around to all the blue icons in the game and murdering a couple people and getting a little bit of money from that is also tedious. Of course, this one is like... Oh, there we go. Sometimes if they're not popping out with one of the other ones, you can use one of the other options and they'll start drinking or dropping out the sodas. Just keep that in mind. Oh, that's burritos. We do not want burritos. Burritos will be a waste of time. Definitely don't get the burritos. Some of the vending machines will drop more items. Some of them will drop less. I try and go for just one of the items, so that way I can stack, disassemble them all at the same time. It'll make your life a little bit easier when you're going through the menu to disassemble these. And like I said, some will drop a few, others ones will drop this amount or just an absolute ton of them. Uh, but just go ahead and do this to all of the vending machines that drop soda in the area, and we'll get on to the next step. So once you make it to the end and you've bought everything from all of the vending machines, well, actually, there's a couple more right here, you're going to see that they do say sold out. And you're going to be like, oh, man, well, I can't do this anymore. Well, there's a super easy trick to get more of these to be able to pop out of these vending machines. Uh, basically, it's taking advantage of how things load in and out of the game. This really is the same way with any game, really. Uh, when you go back to the vending machines, you'll see it's kind of like the sold out thing is gone. But actually... Well, no, okay. I was wondering. I was like, maybe we could do this even simpler. Basically, all we need to do from here is just run out of range from those. Like, only maybe it's a just right here. Basically, what happens is it loads out of the game, and then you're going to run back, and it's going to load back in, and you'll be able to just go ahead and start purchasing all of these items. Now, you can do this as long as you want, and basically until you get bored... And you'll be able to just keep coming back and buying everything inside of these. And um, oh, that's the stupid burritos. We don't want the burritos. And you can do this for as long as you want. The more of these that you purchase, the more components and stuff you'll be able to get. And the more money you'll be able to make. So really, it just comes down to how long you want to be smashing your fingers on these stupid vending machines. You can always do it for like a half an hour or something like that. And then uh, if you ever need money again, you just come back and do it again. So once you get bored of doing this, you're going to need to go to your backpack. Uh, in your backpack, you're going to go to your cons consumables, and then you're going to find the sodas that you've been picking up. Uh, depending on what platform you're on, you're just going to want to 
go ahead and hit whatever button it is to disassemble it. You're going to disassemble all of them. But before we do that, you're going to see here that... So the can is worth $10. So the can you purchase for $10, but you get six of the common components and three of the uncommon components. Now, the uncommon components at the top left sell for five apiece, and the uncommon ones sell for eight apiece. So already, out of just out of the nine pieces you get, two of them make your money back. So you're going to be making a ton of money just from disassembling these. It's kind of ridiculous, quite frankly. I wouldn't be su surprised if it gets patched at some point in time. Uh, but basically, all we need to do from here is just disassemble all of the soda cans that we got during this. Now, while you're doing this, you might notice that they stop disassembling. And that's uh, an issue with the game where you try and do too much and the game kind of just locks up on you. If that happens, you just need to exit out of your inventory. See, it just happened to us. Um, you're just going to exit out of your inventory, go back in, go back to your backpack, and then you're just going to go ahead and disassemble them again, and it should work from there. Sometimes it takes a little bit. But yeah, it's a glitch that keeps happening, but all you got to do is just go back into your inventory. Uh, but now we need to go sell those bad boys. Now, there are a couple places to sell things that are close by, and you might need a few of them. So we're going to go around to the one that's just around the corner here. Now, with this method, you might end up making so much money that the ATMs won't have enough money to buy everything off of you. So you might have to use a couple different ones. Now that we're finally at an ATM machine, we're just going to go ahead and sell. Now, we need to go to all of our items, and then you're going to find your uncommon pieces right here. So we've got these uncom uncommon components. You're going to sell as many of them as the ATM has money for. So right now we have enough to make 20 grand just from doing this for about 10 minutes. Uh, I, I guess it was closer to about 15. Uh, so we'll sell it just under that. We'll confirm. And then we need to go find another ATM. I think maybe if you run away and come back, the money on the ATM might refresh. I haven't tested it, but it probably Fucking works rude. similarly to everything else. All right, so running away and coming back doesn't refresh the money in the ATM, unless you have to go maybe farther away. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you end up finding out about the ATMs. Now, the uncommon ones are going to be way at the bottom, and you're going to get way more of these. So we've got $37,690 uh, worth of these already. Sadly, we can't sell them all here, but basically anytime you pass an ATM machine... Just go ahead and sell all of your components. We're already back up to 112,000 euro dollars or eddies or whatever they want to call them in the game. They have so many different names for some reason. Uh, but yeah, an extremely easy method for making money. You can easily make well over $100,000 an hour doing this. Probably even closer to two, depending on how much time you want to spend at the vending machines. And all you got to do is just sell all your components. Super duper easy. I do hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next one.